welcome to the ill blur. Madding, sugar, and it do. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to ill blur. Maddie, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for returning and supporting. And welcome back to the ill family. Thank you so much for returning. New subscribers, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, let's get right into it right now. So a lot of us have been wondering, San Diego uh, Comic-Con passed, and a lot of us like, Raggy? Where is our S-Man movie? So apparently we're not getting an S-Man movie, not like we thought we were going to get a while back. The reason for that, let's talk about this right now. Um, the reason for that is because of a contract. This is the first reason why. And the reason for that is, remember when we had the Disney and Fox merger, the purchase of 20th Century Fox? So the kind that came with this deal was, yes, we're going to get S-Man or The Mutants as their... I, I don't like this, The Mutants, but let's just call it S-Man. Um, reboot for the third time, but the problem is now... Pretty much, we can't get it now until it comes out sometime in 2025. Now, let's talk about this too that's interesting with this situation. One thing I am loving about this, and I'm just like, hmm, you know what? This don't sound half bad. They want the original actors from the previous S-Man movies. I'm thinking like maybe the first uh, movies, not the second uh, reboots. Um, to return, I definitely would love to see uh Hugh Jackman return for Wolverine. That you know, <laughs> it's hard to like see someone else play Wolverine, right? But I think it's good to see that we're gonna get the original actors back, uh, with this contract uh situation. Also, Ethan Storm, because I didn't honestly, I didn't like the, the young lady that played Storm in the like the second series. I was like, eh. Mm. Yeah, she's all right, but you know, so that's the other thing. They can't announce anything. That kind of sucks, right? <laughs> no announcements, uh, except for the mutants. At first, I thought this was like a spinoff or something. I was like, is this a spinoff? Like, just call it the S Men, please. Why are we calling it the mutants? I, I'm still kind of like, I, I ain't really feeling this. Okay, so the other thing. With this, uh, what I do know, and it's been confirmed, you know, by actually Kevin Feige, we're going to see this after the multiverse uh, saga ends. So pretty much the S-Man movies come, well, S-Man, excuse me, the S-Man movie comes out in 2025, which is not bad. I mean, you know, we got other Marvel movies coming out, so it's not like a big miss. But the thing is, 2025, so I think literally from what Kevin Feige was saying, Kevin Feige said that we'll see in Phase 6 a possible S-Man movie. I'm all for that. I'm not going to lie. I was like, okay, that's cool. Like, after this multiverse saga ends, great. Maybe it's time for them to kind of work and develop on this film. Um, And I think it's interesting to hear that we're not going to get an S-Man movie for a while. Because I remember a while back, they were talking about, yo, we should do an S-Man and Avengers crossover. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and just other things, too, that was kind of S-Man related. I was like, eh. <laughs> but the good thing is they are trying to keep this kind of quiet to some degree. So there's no announcements, you know, until maybe that time of 2025 which is totally okay with me because sometimes, you know, we get information leaked so much. It's like, oh, it's a leak here. Oh, let me go check out that leak. Let me go check it out. Oh, oh, oh. You know, and it's like, well, at least they're trying to keep quiet about it. Um, the the kind about it was the purchase. The purchase with 20th Century Fox because remember S-Man was a part of 20th Century Fox, that property of Marvel, the S-Man. So Disney acquired them to get the other Marvel Cinematic characters, remember? And originally, there were some other things, too, with other characters that they weren't able quite to get. <coughs> Sony. <laughs> and also Universal, by the way. Um, But it worked out because now 
we'll get a chance to see some of the other mutants and stuff like that. But also, let me just explain one other thing too. Um, this means that they're going to introduce the mutants eventually down the line. Maybe they'll do something with Kamala. Also, uh, Submariner. So I think they're just setting up everything to kind of get things going for the S-Man and also some of the other mutants they've already introduced. Like I said, uh, Ms. Marvel, um, you know what I'm saying? Also, Submariner that will be in Wakanda forever, the sequel to Black Panther. So, um, you know, it's interesting. You know, it kind of sucks that we're not going to see an S-Man movie right away because I remember a while back, there's, oh yeah, maybe Phase 4 will see an S-Man movie, but that's okay. <laughs> Things take time. I understand that for this Marvel Cinematic Universe. But you guys tell me in the comments, are you surprised about some of the things that are going on with this new, <laughs> the mutants or S-Man, whichever one you want to call it, uh, about this news that we're not going to get a movie for quite a bit? Um, are you surprised about some of the things that took place? Like the kind about literally they <laughs> has to keep quiet about it and they're keeping the original actors. I, I think the original actors really work. Uh, and are you excited for uh, S-Man when it does return? You tell me comments, guys, your boy, Ill Blur Maddie. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. And until next time, have a great day, guys. I'm out. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, you are the real MVPs. Oh, yeah.